Okay, in this um, in this video, I want to introduce vectors um, for pre-cal, and I want to do this a little faster than I would have in the past. Um, we're trying to consolidate and simplify things um, as we deal with the staying at home and, and learning learning from home with coronavirus and all that stuff. Okay, so um, hopefully you watched that little cartoon from um, Despicable Me where it was the, the villain vector who is creating crime with both direction and magnitude. Okay, so basically a vector is a quantity with both direction and magnitude. Okay, so you can have a vector um, and you can also have a scalar. Okay, so a scalar is just a number, like the number four. It has a magnitude, but it has no direction. A vector, however, so I could say something like vector A, or I might describe this vector A, B. If I do this, it's telling me I'm starting at point A and I'm ending at point B, and I'm going in the direction of A from A to B, okay? So we typically will label things like this, um, and so we can describe, we can describe that vector. Now, what we might say is um, we can, we can name that vector either in telling us its direction and its magnitude, or we can label that vector in its components, okay? And both end up being helpful. Um, and so this would be its x component, this would be its y component. This is, if this is vector a, then we would talk about the magnitude of vector a, actually, in preco. They would use double lines. In IB, we just use one set of lines, which is what I've been teaching most recently. Um, and then this is that direction, okay? So you'll notice um, the things that we learned about trig would still be true. So this, if I say that this, this vector A has, um, A has a magnitude, I don't know, of four centimeters, I'm making something up, and a direction, of 30 degrees and sometimes we describe it in terms of the, the the compass you know so like north east south west so i could say that this is 30 degrees north of east so notice like that's a little 30 degree it's going here's east it was going east but now it's going north of east so it's 30 degrees north of east is, is kind of what i'm describing there um <coughs> so if i say that vector a has a magnitude of four centimeters and a direction of 30 degrees north of east, I can find its x and its y components. Okay, so here is what I have. This is 4 centimeters, this is 30 degrees, and so now this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I know what to do with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if opposite the, um, the 90 is, is 4, then opposite the 30 is half of that, is 2, and then opposite the 60 is 2 root 3. So in pre -cal, um, I have guests that have joined me, so um, stay quiet, you guys, okay? Shh, you have to be so quiet. Um, so in pre -cal, we write this, we'll do our x value first, and so we'll write it this way, and then we put a comma, and then our y value. Um, my kids in the past have referred to these as pointhesis, because they kind of come to a point, which is, Michael, don't do that, um, which is, um, okay, turn the music off. Hey, guys, go downstairs, okay? Let, let Aunt Carrie finish this. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Okay, um, so that's the pre-cal notation. The, um, the IB notation, we would write the X value on top and then the Y value underneath. And the advantage to that is that it's easier to do operations with that. Um, so you'll notice that if I come back to this triangle, to find X, well, we know this. We know that cosine of theta is going to be equal to x over the magnitude of a. And we know that, that sine of theta is going to be equal to y over the magnitude of a. And so what's helpful here is that x is equal to the magnitude of a times cosine of theta. And y is equal to the magnitude of a times sine of theta. Okay, so if we're, if, if they've given us a direction, um, Elizabeth, go turn the music off. Thank you. Um, if they've given us the direction and, and the, <laughs> here we go. Okay, if they've given us the direction and the magnitude right here, then we can figure out its x and its y component that way. Likewise, if they've given me the x and the y components, 
say we know x and we know y, oops, sorry, and I want to find the magnitude, sometimes Preka writes it that way and I get lazy and I just do it that way. Elizabeth, go downstairs, babe. Hurry. I'm making a video for school. Okay, um, then what we know is we know that, that x squared plus y squared is going to equal the magnitude of a squared. So if I want to find the magnitude of that vector, what I can do is I can take the square root of x squared plus y squared, because that's just Pythagorean theorem. Likewise, if I want to find that angle, well, this is opposite over adjacent, so tangent of theta is equal to y over x. Okay, so let me go see if I can um, make some problems for you. We're going to practice initially going from direction magnitude form to component form, and then from component form to direction magnitude form. So um, go practice, and then we'll talk about what we can do with vectors after that.